everyone today we'll be discussing problem b blood flow from code force is round 538 for detailed problem statement follow the link in the description what the problem wants to say is you are given an array okay and it is filled with colors so in this case you are given an array of size 8 okay and the colors in all those eight positions are 8 4 5 2 2 1 3 5 5 now what they are saying is if two cells adjacent to each other have same color then they belong to the same component what do they mean by that you see these two are adjacent to each other and they have the same color so these two belong to one component similarly this four belongs to one component this five belongs to one component this one belongs to one component this three and this two five belongs to one another component now what your task is to your task is to make this whole thing into one component in minimum number of moves now what is a move a move is basically you have a component you can change its color to any other color okay so how the game starts is initially you will choose a starting point this is not involved in any turn this is what you do randomly so say i chose this as my starting point okay so what can i do in the next step is i can change the color of this component into any other color now as i want to expand this means i want to increase my span i will only color it with one or five if i would have colored it with three then i couldn't do anything else i will just lose one moves and the thing here is to minimize the number of moves so what i could have done is i would have colored it with five or one let's say i colored it with five so next step i have four five 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 one three five five and my current component is this one Triple five. Now again, I can change the color of this component. Now I can't change the one which I select. I have already selected one, and that is one time thing. I can change the color of this component. So I can change it to four or one. Let's suppose we are changing it to four. So the whole thing changes to four, 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 one, three, double five. Okay. Now I can change the color of this component. I have only one option. I will change it to all ones. Then three, then double five. Okay. Now we'll change the color of this all ones to three. You have six threes and double five. In the last step, what you will do is you will change the color of all these threes to all fives. So basically, now you have eight fives, and this whole is one component. This for one part. Okay. Now you can see the number of moves you take is one, two, three, four, five. You have taken five moves to do this. You could form one component, but you took five moves. Your other thing to do is to minimize the number of moves. Last time you took five moves, okay? So let us see if we can do any better. So instead of changing this two into five, I will change it to one. Okay? Last time we changed it to five. This time we change it to one. So we have four. Five. Now we are changing this two segment, this segment into one. So we have one, 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 and we have a three and double five. And our present segment is all ones. Now from all ones, we'll change it to all threes. Okay. So our present segment will become four, five, one, three, 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 three. Then we have two fives. Okay. Our next move will be to change this segment to fives. So it will expand here and here in both ends. So we'll get four, five, 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 five. Okay. So in the last move, we can change this all fives to all fours. So in this case, we could do it in four moves. So this is our thing. We need to. Make it into one component as well as reduce the number of moves. Into dynamic solution, let us make an observation here. If we compress this array, okay, this won't affect the answer. How? So if I have five, two, one, three, five. This is my compressed array. What do I mean by compressed array? If one component is there, then I'm writing that as a single element, okay. So why won't that affect my answer is because in one go I am changing the color of the whole component. 
So if I take one representative from a component, that is fine. Now why am I doing this? It will be clear when we get into this dynamic problem solution. So let us first define the states. States, okay. It will return. Okay. So we have the states as L and R. So dp of L comma R will give you the minimum number of moves required to change the segment LR into one component. So dp LR will give you the minimum number of moves in which you can change the segment LR into one component that will have only one color. Okay. So let us write the basic stuff here. Let me take a reference in red. I am doing this just because I don't want to write dp of LR every time. Okay. Now, if we have already visited this state, okay, so then the red won't be minus 1. We have already initialized all the dp of LR to minus 1 to say that this state is not visited. So if red is not equals to minus 1, then you directly return red. Okay. Now the other thing to see is if L is greater than or equal to R. Okay. What is if L is equal to equal to R? That means you are looking at one element. What is the cost to change one single element into same component? It is already having one color only, right? So the number of moves required will be zero. Okay. So what we will assign here is return red equals to zero. Okay, so now let us see the other case that we have a segment L R. We are trying to find the answer of this segment L comma R. And what happens is the color of this L and R is same. So this is Y, this is also Y. So both of these segments are having the same color. Now how we can reduce this problem is if both of these are having same color then let us suppose this is L plus 1 and this is R minus 1. Okay. Now if we know the answer of this segment if we know the answer of this segment then we can change the whole segment into color Y in one move. How we can do this? Say the color of this segment is X. Okay? If the set color of this whole segment is X and we have this as Y and this as Y, I can expand this X into all Y's. If I change the color of these all X to all Y's, so this segment will expand and it will consume this L and R as well. Okay? So in one move, what I can do is, I can make this whole thing to be covered. Okay? Now, one doubt you can get is, what if the color of this X is already Y? Is it's not X, it is Y only. Now, this case is not possible. Why that is not possible is solution of L plus 1 and R minus 1 will have a color of C of L plus 1 or C of R minus 1 only. Why? Let us look into this. Okay. If you are taking this subpart 2, 1, 3, okay, what can be the final color of this part? It can only be 2 or 3. It can't be anything else than 2 and 3. Because the end points determine what is going to be the color of that segment. Okay? So, likewise, this whole segment can't have color equal to Y because we've already compressed it. So every adjacent element is different. If every adjacent element is different, then for sure CL plus 1 can't be equal to CL or CR minus 1 cannot be equal to CR. Because CR and CR minus 1 are adjacent elements and CL and CL plus 1 are adjacent elements. Okay, So they can't be equal. So this thing holds true. So how we can write that thing into our DB? It is simple. If, okay, what we need to check is, C of L 
equal to equal to c of r if these two things are equal then what we will do is we will add 1 plus 1 to change the color of this whole x thing into y then we will call a dp function for l plus 1 and r minus 1 then we assign this to red and then we return this okay so this thing is done now what can be the other case if this y is not equal to that y so in this case if we don't have y here if we have a z so then how the things will change if we have a y here and a segment of x here and a z here as i said that the final color of a segment is going to be the boundary elements color only so the segment of this which is l to r can only be y or z right so let us consider those two cases case that the color is going to be y if i want the color to be y then what i can do is i can take the minimum cost of this section what is this section l plus 1 to r so if i know the minimum cost to change l plus 1 to r into one color then i can take that whole segment and change that whole color to y right so this will be 1 plus i want to solve for l plus 1 to r okay now why this one because you want to take this segment and change it to y as well now the other case would have been if you want to change it to color z if you want to color to change z then you can take the color of this whole segment which is given by l to r minus 1 so if you know the answer of l to r minus 1 which is basically this segment l to r minus 1 okay if you know the answer of that then you can change the whole color into z so how will you do that you add one more so what will you choose in these you will choose the minimum of these two okay so how will we write this minimum of what we are doing in first case we are solving l plus 1 comma r plus 1 next case what we are solving solve l comma r minus 1 plus 1 we are taking the minimum of these two and we will put it in return and then we will finally return this value ok this is all for this problem for implementation details you can follow the link in the description happy coding